Dear friends, today we have a special episode of Super Tony's Adventures. Enjoy! Today we are going to check some interesting life hacks. We know that there are many similar videos online, but I'm going to show some hacks that not you nor our viewers have ever seen. Let's begin! So Tony, you use your computer all day and are constantly putting files on your USB stick. But aren't you afraid of viruses? Luckily for you, there's an easy way to know if your USB flash drive has some kind of malware. Here's what you have to do. Open the USB's folder and create a new TXT file. Now we rename it like this. As you see, you also have to change the file extension. If you don't see one, then you have to open the View tab in Folder Options and disable the Hide Extensions for Known File Types checkbox. Moving on, now you have to find a nice icon and place it in your USB memory. It can be any image with a resolution of 64 by 64 pixels. Now we open our file and write the following text. And this line should be the name of our image. That's all. Now remove the USB stick and put it back in. Now, in the My Computer folder, instead of your usual icon, you'll see this image. But if the USB memory has a virus, then it will override our file and the icon will go missing. Now you know that you're infected. The next life hack is perfect for movie lovers like you, Tony. We are going to build our own movie theater. We need an old shoebox like this. In the back of the box, we cut out a circle and place a magnifying glass. On the inside, we make some cuts to place our smartphone. Voila! Now you can play a film, place your device in the right place, regulating the distance from the magnifier, so the image will be crystal clear and you can enjoy your film. So Tony, I think it's time to rest. Let's take a nature trip. Without all these gadgets and devices, we are going to fish and enjoy the fresh air. Oh, I almost forgot. I know a great life hack for fishing. If you don't want to end up without a catch, we need some baiting. So here's a secret. In the middle of the baiting, you have to place an effervescent tablet, like a vitamin or something. So when the water gets to the effervescent tablet, it will start to react and the baiting will spread really quickly. On top of that, the water will be sweeter and some fish love that. I can assure you that it works, Tony. Are you going camping? For real? You are finally putting away that computer of yours and going out for some fresh air. Then I have some several interesting life hacks for you, which will make your trip much more comfortable. Allow me to share them with you. What do we have here? Oh, food and some water. That's good. But let's place a couple of small ice buckets here so it would be cold and the food would not spoil. And you know what? Let's make a portable stove to cook your food. So, we are going to need a metal can like a soda can, and we have to cut it in half. We are also going to use some cardboard stripes, which we are going to carefully place into one of the halves of the can. Excellent work, Tony! Now we just need to add some wax. The other half of the metal can will be our cooktop, so we need to make a hole for the flame. And don't forget to make a couple of holes on the side to let the air get through. Remember that you need oxygen to make fire, otherwise it won't work. For the next life hack, we need a small plastic container. Now make two holes in the lid and put a small tube in one of them and a fan in the other, facing the bottle, so the air will get inside. It would come in very handy later. Now take all these gadgets and let's go. It's time to go into the wild. Oh, I almost forgot. We are going to need some sage. I'll explain later. Do you feel the fresh air in your lungs? Well, you go rest while I take a little nap. Oh, I see you're having a good time. Your tent is in place. Your dinner is almost ready and your campfire is keeping you warm. Perfection. What is it, Tony? Are mosquitoes bothering you? Well, it's time to use the sage. Simply throw it into the fire. The smoke from this burning herb will scare away these annoying insects. Wow, it got dark really quick. I think it's time for bed. So bring the container with the fan, the one we made at home. Add some cold water from the ice bucket. Now close the container and plug the fan to your portable battery. 
Now your homemade AC system is ready. It will keep the air cold and humid inside the tent, so you will sleep like an angel. Sweet dreams, Tony. We are gonna share some awesome life hacks for your smartphone, because everyone has one, right? Let's begin with a tip for game lovers. This trick will help you set cooler records. So, if you like to play offline games, then change the date on your phone to several years later. Open your game and you'll have a lot of resources that have piled up over the years. Then, you can change the date back and, supposedly, your rewards will still be there. Give it a try and tell us in the comments if it worked. Now a trick to clean your screen and make it seem like new. To get rid of all the fingerprints on your screen, clean it with a cotton swab soaked in hydrogen peroxide. This will get rid of fingerprints and other stains, and it will protect your phone from getting dirty for some time. If you need to get rid of a scratch, you can use toothpaste. Again, spread a small amount of toothpaste on the screen and then use a wet cloth to remove it. You can also clean your screen using shaving cream to make it more reflecting. This way, you can use it as a mirror. But don't forget to be careful while cleaning your phone and don't let any moisture get under the buttons, inside the speaker, or inside your phone. Now another important and useful life hack. Every day, many people lose their phones and can only hope they will somehow come back or be returned. At the same time, we all protect our phones with different passwords to keep our information safe. Now, imagine that Tony finds a phone and wants to return it to its rightful owner, but he doesn't know how. Here's an idea. Put the number of your mother, your father, or someone you trust as your iPhone wallpaper with a caption asking to call them and return the phone in case it has been lost. There are many good people ready to do the right thing, but they don't always know how. So, help them believe in them, and everything will be all right. Finally, let's make a stand for your phone using a bottle with water and a rubber band. This is a very easy but very useful oh. DIY project. Fasten your phone like this and your homemade stand is ready. You can take a selfie or record an awesome video, and we haven't shared any summer life hacks with you. But as they say, better late than never. First, some cold water. If you are going for a long hike, the night before, you can pour one-third of water in a bottle and put it in the freezer for the night. By morning, the water will have turned into ice. Now fill the rest of the bottle with water and take it with you. The ice will melt slowly, so you will have cold water throughout the day. Instead of water, you can use any kind of beverage. But remember that water is the best option for when you are thirsty. Now, sometimes we buy ice cream and want to eat it at home, but when we get there, it is already melted. Here's the trick to avoid that. Take the ice cream, place it inside a bag with no holes and wrap it tight, but leaving lots of air inside. Now take another bag and do the same thing. Now you have your own portable thermos. It will help your ice cream last a little longer than usual. By the way, here's another useful life hack. Let's say that you bought a bottle of some drink, which was on the shelf and not in the fridge. But now you're home and you want a cold drink. So take a paper towel or a thin cloth, wet it with water and wrap it around the bottle. Now place it in the freezer. You won't believe it, but in just five to 10 minutes, the beverage inside the bottle will be cold. In the summer, we all love barbecues with friends and family, right Tony? The problem is no one wants to clean the grill but here's a life hack for such situations. Simply wrap the grill with a newspaper, wet it with water, and leave it for the night. In the morning, simply remove the newspaper and rinse the grill. So, what else could I tell you? Right, if you are stung by a mosquito and you don't have any balm or lotion around, then simply heat a spoon and place it right on the bite. The pain and itchiness will go away. By the way, you could also treat it with baking soda, vinegar, or toothpaste. Today, we are gonna tell you about some things that we aren't doing properly. Let's go. Let's start in the morning, which usually begins with the sound of your alarm clock. We usually snooze the alarm to get a little bit more sleep, and then again, and again, and then we notice that we are already late. And this is not the only problem. Every time we snooze the alarm, we are rebooting our sleep cycle. The problem is that your body doesn't have enough time to rest properly until the next alarm, making you tired and sleepy for the rest of the day. So, try to get up with your first alarm and you'll feel fresh all day. After getting out of bed, 
Most people start their day with a full-flavored steaming cup of coffee. But did you know that after waking up, our body releases lots of cortisol, the stress hormone? We told you all about it in the episode where Tony stopped eating sweets for a month. Long story short, the high concentration of cortisol in your body makes coffee less effective. With time, you'll need more and more coffee to feel alive and fresh. So, try to enjoy your first cup of coffee three hours after waking up, when the level of cortisol in your body is significantly lower. Hey Tony, if you leave your cups or mugs in that position, there will be no air circulation inside and a moldy odor might appear inside. The right way to dry your cups and mugs is putting them on one side or simply towel drying them at once. After breakfast, you can brush your teeth. That's right, dentists believe you have to do it after you eat. And before going to bed, of course. By the way, there's no need to use a lot of toothpaste, like people do in TV ads. A little bit of toothpaste, the size of a pea, will be enough. You actually need it just to soften the brush and the dental plaque, while freshening your breath, not to fill your mouth with foam. Oh, Tony, you finally decided to get closer to the youth and start using TikTok? Well done! It was a little bit cringy that you weren't there, but now you can finally make me rawful. Weird flex, but okay, lol. Yeah, I don't even understand what I said. Anyway, now that you've come out of the cave and have become a modern person, let's check some of the coolest life hacks on TikTok. Time to begin. For example, there's a very popular life hack with an orange. Some TikTokers say that if you cut off the top, squeeze the fruit hard, and insert a straw, you can enjoy some fresh juice. Right, right. Maybe in the world of pink unicorns. First of all, for the juice to reach your mouth, it has to completely fill the straw, but there's too little juice there from just the squeeze. Also, there's a lot of pulp in the orange, which will instantly clog the straw and you won't be able to drink anything. And if you try to inhale too hard, there is a chance that the pulp will go straight to your airways, to the trachea, for example, and this can lead to a blockage. And then, without help, you'll die of suffocation. So friends, don't repeat this silly little trick. Why don't you simply squeeze an orange into a glass and drink it peacefully? As they say, it is easy peasy orange squeezy. Fortunately, the following life hack does work and will come in handy for people who love kiwi fruit. Peeling this fruit can be quite problematic, but there is an ingenious solution. You can cut it in half, take a spoon, and either eat it straight away or gently slide the spoon between the pulp and the peel to get rid of the hairy bits. That's it. You can now enjoy a delicious kiwi. It really works. We have tested it many times. The next life hack will be useful for girls, although guys can experiment too. Why not? Here's a perfect way to have rainbow hair. It's simple. You need special dyes of different colors, but please don't take paint from your garage because you won't be able to wash it off later. You need a special dye that's easy to apply and easy to wash off. So basically, you need to smear different colors on an ordinary comb in any order. Then you just run it through your hair and voila, your rainbow mane is ready. Oh, I remembered another very cool life hack. It allows you to turn on the keyboard backlight on absolutely any laptop. We checked it out and we want to share what we have found with you. In fact, the combination shown in the videos works, but only if the keyboard has this feature built in. So, the backlight turns on and pleases the user. But how do you turn on something that isn't there? Unfortunately, this life hack will not work if your keyboard has no LEDs and it doesn't have a backlight function. Sorry about that. The next life hack is an effective way to light a candle in a glass. This is really hard to do with an ordinary lighter because the flame will burn your fingers. You need a special long lighter, but if you don't have one and you have spaghetti, you can just take one noodle and light it at one end. Pasta burns pretty well, as it turns out. Now you can safely and painlessly light the candle. Tony, do you like tea? Then mm -hmm. this life hack is perfect for you. Experts say that leaf tea is much healthier and tastier than bag tea, but you need a special teapot to brew it. Of course, you can do it in a mug, but then you will have tea leaves stuck in your teeth. If you don't have a teapot and don't want to eat tea leaves, but you have foil and a toothpick, then there is a brilliant solution. Take a small piece of foil and put some tea on it. Now gently twist it to make something like bindle. Now all you have to do is make a dozen small holes with a toothpick and dip the construction into a cup with boiling water. Voila! The tea is ready and there are no floating and annoying leaves. By the way, friends, we have some information about tea bags. 
There is no real proof that it's worse than leaf tea. It's exactly the same. It's the same tea put in a special bag and shredded beforehand, so it brews faster. If someone tells you that you should only drink loose tea, you can laugh in their face. Or better yet, just say nothing. You know the truth and don't buy all this nonsense. And it is a pointless waste of time to prove something to a person if they think they're right. Like a Karen. Hmm. Karen. Cringe. Flex. When did I learn all these words? Tony, it's probably your fault. We need to take a break at least for a week. I'd better go to the library and read some books. Friends, tell us in the comments what other ridiculous or helpful life hacks you've seen on TikTok. The best stories, as always, will be featured in the next episode. And of course, like and subscribe if you've learned something new today. Bye-bye.